English or German? English. Who are you? My name is Marius. Yes. That's who I am. What are you doing? I'm at the moment at Nomads in Amsterdam, joining a one-year program of alternative education. Before that I was studying, before that and meanwhile I did quite some traveling. Uh, yeah. How do you see the tourism in, in, in 2020? What, what will it be for you? Well, first of all when talking about tourism we have to, uh, to put it in the bigger picture. And I think in, in the time we're living in, the cultures of people from every part of the world are very much mingling to, uh, with each other. So they could, on what, what, one hand... What means mingling? Um, uh, meeting each other, seeing each other, like you don't stay just in your, in your city, in your country, you go out. And there are two main reasons why people are meeting each other. One is migration, people moving to other countries. And the other one is tourism, traveling. And we in, in Europe often complain about migrants who come here and we say they should adapt our culture. But at the same point, when we go traveling, when we are doing tourism, we don't necessarily do that. We stay very much ourselves. Uh, we uh, try to respect the, the culture country we are visiting, but are not necessarily doing it. And one goal of tourism also in the next years or in 2020 must be to, to be more aware of your own behavior when being abroad and to, to show respect and to get into an intercultural dialogue with the people you meet. What does it mean for the people working in tourism? <laughs> that they should not only focus on um, when you have a client and you want to convince them to go to a certain place, for example. Uh, often it's about the great buildings or architecture or landscape someone can, can see there. But we should also put more focus on the people, the people you can meet and the discussions you can have with the people living there. And maybe they are even very interested in how you, uh, how you experience your life here in a, in a Western democracy, if you want to put it like that. And to see what you can learn from each other. That's in the world, in the globalized world, with global economy and everything that we are experiencing right now. That could be a very, that would be a very good way how, would, how everything that's happening could turn out. Um, what are the, how can you, how can people learn that? What is necessary that people or like like the workers and, and um, entrepreneurs in tourism? How can they get those skills? Um, experiencing it themselves, realizing how? Uh, how how they can learn it to, to promote that. Yeah. As I said, like experiencing these these meetings themselves when they go traveling. Like, take maybe a different approach, like not only focusing on on the best places to take a picture, but also focusing on the on the people you meet there, whether it's be in, in a restaurant or a hotel, but also people that you simply meet on the street and then see that you can get a lot out of these meetings and it's a very interesting great thing to do. And also thinking that what they think about you, how you behave, they will put it kind of uh, on their point of view on your country, the country where you're from. Um, how would you, do you, would you like to work in tourism? Could you imagine it? I could imagine that. I also have some contacts in the tourism branch that when you first got some people I, I knew who study tourism and traveling has been, is one of my favorite hobbies after all and making my profession would be great. I don't necessarily have to be on the road always but so I could also uh, see myself helping people and getting a new approach, a new point of view on traveling. Okay. Uh, what would you like to do in tourism or in a touristic uh, area? What, what could you imagine? To do? What I said, I mean, there's. Um, when I was traveling, I never really liked the mass tourism. So crowds of people just coming to one place, take the pic, take the pictures, and then leave. I'm much more interested in the intercultural dialogue and we also need it society-wise and world-wise. Um, I could see myself contributing to a change of mindset in tourism, more to experiencing uh, culture as human beings, you mean. Thank you very much.